Topscene.com. Thanks for joining me for another video beer review. This time we've got another bottle of beer from Jack's Abbey in Framingham, Massachusetts. And it's their Framinghammer. 10% ABV Baltic Porter. I guess a style that you don't see a hell of a lot of these days. It's all about Imperial Stout. I guess the distinction, I don't know if they're doing this, I presume they are, because Jack's Abbey do a lot of um, lagers and pilsners and so on. A lot of German style stuff. A Baltic Porter is, from all accounts, um, fermented with a lager yeast, a bottle fermented. Quite a few. But yeah, as I said, it's not the kind of the, the trendy beer style of the, of the times. Is it bottle conditioned? Maybe a little bit. So, I had to go all the way to Denmark to bring this back from uh, the Mickler and Friends bottle shop in Copenhagen. But I really want to try this beer. I knew I knew it was knocking around somewhere in Europe, so I was really happy to find this perfect appearance. You mean black as night, like shiny ebony. It looks great, uh, kind of whipped up egg white consistency. But as far as the colour goes, it's that kind of like quite a ash, ash kind of grey, grey beige. So let's check out the aroma. Hmm. That's nice. Oh yeah, it's lovely. Loads of roasted barley. Lots of kind of it reminds me of all brand, it's that kind of really kind of distinct malty aroma. There's no I hate saying hoppy and malty, but that is a malty aroma. It's baked bread, it's it's freshly baked brown bread. It's sweetness of um, kind of hazelnuts. There's baking chocolate in there. There's um, fruit cake. There's something that reminds me of like a cheap flat cola. There's definitely something that reminds me of kind of brown sauces in the UK. Brown sauce is very much for you. It's not something you have in the, it's a HP sauce if you're familiar with it in the, over in America. But yeah. It's a spicy, rich, full, roasty aroma. It smells great. I've been looking forward to this beer. Let's dive in. Cheers. Let's see what it's all about. Mm. Good amount of body. Really lovely mouthfeel. Mm, that's really good. Mm. It's a bit more on the kind of fruitcake side of things. A there's, a, there's a tang to it. There's definitely tang that you get from molasses and black syrup. So treacle, as opposed to syrup. Yeah, a tang that reminds me of. Um, and also the sweetness of uh, dried figs, sorry, dates. I remember one time at a, a, a Christmas party, friends had a buffet, I was a little bit drunk. I thought they were kind of glazed, like party sausages. No, they were, they were, they were dates. <laughs> it really reminds me of that, that sticky, chewy, kind of slightly burnt caramel edge that you get on dried dates. Licorice. Mm. Maybe a hint of camp coffee. And maybe some dark chocolate covered marzipan. Lovely stuff, I mean it's got such a... There's something about it, it might be because it's a Baltic Porter and the... Um, that um, the conditioning of this beer and the um, fermentation of this beer really clears it out, really cleans it out. It's a very... It, there's such a wonderful clarity to this beer. So yeah, lovely stuff, so that's Jack's Abbey. Framinghammer, Baltic Porter, 10% ABV. Lovely stuff. I'm Rob from Hobbsy.com. I'll see you next time. Cheers.